Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, just got a couple of things to show you. Um, first of all, I've got this beautiful card from the lovely Christine and she sent me some gilding flakes. I said that I was running low on gilding flakes and she sent me a little selection. I've got some silver, some gold and green there and some, I don't know, like autumnal colours I'd say there. So thank you very much for that, Christine. I did ask her, I did say you didn't need to send them, but she really wanted, she insisted. So thank you very much. It's very kind, very generous of you. This beautiful card, I do love that. Thank you. And um, what else have I got to show you? Oh, I had to rustle up a pair of Easter cards this morning. Um, I don't really celebrate Easter. Um, I don't really know. My aunt does. She's um, she always sends a card, and even though she really struggles to write now because she can't see. Um, she still sent the card, so I do send her a card usually every Easter, and um, my mum and dad as well. But I don't really do anything more than that, and I and I I don't do a religious cards or anything like that. I just do something fun. So I've just rustled a pair of these. They're both identical. I use one of my backgrounds that I made with the um, stamping. What do you call it? Stamping foam. Cut this thing out on my Cricut. And this thing, I just made a template and stuck those bits on. So that those are my Easter cards. That's as far as I went this year. And the other thing was the Victorian page for my mini art journal. I don't know. I thought I'd be more inspired than I was, but I wasn't feeling wasn't feeling it. Maybe because I'm thinking of moving my craft room. Maybe there's other things on my mind. So I've used a bit of Edith Holden book paper I know it's not Victorian because it does it's actually called the diary of an Edwardian um, country lady or something so but you know I'm not gonna worry about it there's a bit of old vintagey um, music paper in the background a ticket a vintage ticket this is well it's not vintage but it looks kind of vintage uh, and the glitter has not dried on it. I did pop a little glitter on because I think some of the Victorian cards and things did start to have glittery things stuck on them. So that's what I've done. But I confess I didn't look it up. I have no idea what actually went down in Victorian times. He looked like a bit of a Victorian gentleman. So as an afterthought, I plonked him in and just stuck this over the top. And there it was. And there it is. That's my page. Um, not don't know, I used to love doing vintage and that kind of things, but I just didn't, wasn't really feeling it. But um, I'm not, not displeased with my page, but uh, that's, that's where it's at. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, not sure when I'll be back. As I said, I'm going to start moving my stuff around, I think this week. Um, and then hopefully I'll have more exciting things to do once I get up there. So in the meantime, stay safe and well. If I don't see you before, have a great Easter and um, I'll see you when I see you. Bye for now.